and we're back in the mechanical room. Uh, so we got a complaint of a burning smell and a loud humming noise. Uh, this unit was just running, this one isn't, so we'll check this one first, so here we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try something. So, oh, look at that. So I'm using my Viver uh, uh, infrared camera and you can see that there's a hot spot right there. I bet you 100% that's where the blower motor is. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's up. And, yep, that's where the blower is. Check that out. She is hot, 215 degrees. Oof, yeah, so that, and, I, and I can smell the electrical burning, so. Looks like the blower went out. It's been replaced in 2017, so we're gonna go with blower number three. Third time's a charm, hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and cycle fan. All right, so yeah, the motor's definitely dead. Go ahead and check this run cap, make sure. Okay, run cap is a five. It is within spec, so it's definitely not the run cap. All right, so we got our OEM motor here. Came with a runner cap, so we'll go ahead and replace that. Uh, so we need to take the board out, blower assembly out, motor out, new motor, run cap, put it all back together. So start by taking out the, uh, what do you call it, the filter. The filter is not that dirty. I think it was just changed in January. So, all right, so we'll get this off. So to get this off here, we need to take out the screw and that screw, and it just kind of pops out. All right, we got our blower motor out of there. We need to loosen these set screws, and then pull the motor out. All right, so we're gonna take out these three screws. Five sixteenths. Okay, so we got one of these motor mounts here. These things are terrible. Um, but yeah, you can see here it's two pieces. So you have the top part and the bottom part, and then these are all separate. Um, so you want to take these screws out and this screw out separate it, put the new motor on, and then go from there. Okay, so once you get all the screws off, we grab this top part and pull up. We got the top part. And there you go. All right, so we're prepping our new motor. So it comes with these little things. So um, you can see it here, it sticks out. So that's gonna go down, touching the motor. And there's like little, you know, spacers here where they go. There, and then another one for the bottom. So we're gonna put the bottom one on first. Make sure it fits over that. And you just slide right over like that. There go. Cool. Let's see if we can put the wings on. sure they're pointed this way so they're like bending away from the shaft Ooh. I want to point the wire towards the front which in this case is that way Go ahead and put in our screws. Oh, whoops. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put our ground wire in. We'll just go ahead and use this screw right here. We got the motor in, we're gonna go ahead and realign everything and put in our set screws. Okay, we'll give her a spin. Cool, it's not hitting anything.
right, so we want these rails to slide into that clip right there. See it? And right there too. That's the goal. cap which is now 15. All right so we got these two clips right here and they go into those square holes there. These two yellow wires go into our, limit, our auxiliary limit switch right here. All right so now we just gotta wire up our roller motor here. The black is cooling, blue is heating, white is our neutral and this is our uh, what do you call it our medium high I'm sorry, a medium low and our low. And those go on park. Okay, so now we just have to hook up our thermostat wires. I had to take that off because it was going in front, so. Alrighty. All right, so she's running. We're gonna go ahead and call for heat, make sure that works, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Always a good idea to clean the flame sensor since we're here. She's all back up and running. She's heating. And so we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and shut her off. But uh, yeah, if you ever get a call and they're saying, hey, there's a noise and there's like a burning smell, about 99% of the time it's a blower motor. So this is how you change it on a train unit. So hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to support the channel, pick up some of those uh, work socks and uh, buy some tools on my tool store. Thanks for watching.